Hello everyone, welcome to this mini walkthrough on how to complete Big Hat Logan's quest and get all his stuff right to the end. Okay, you can either, uh, you'll first off find Logan, he'll be in uh, Sand's Fortress, locked up in a cage. To reach him, you can either have to do what I did just there, let the lizard smash down the wall, which is the shortcut way, or use the boulder machine to smash down the wall where the sleeping guard is, which is uh, just down here. So you should be able to get him pretty easy. Logan's going to be trapped up in a cage. If you've already got the master key as a starting gift or you start at the thief class, you're going to be okay. You can unlock the cage straight off the bat with Logan. But if not, you're going to have to go down here and get another key, which is the cage key. Jump the broken walkway and go down the stairs. Take out the serpent mage right here and there's a key right at the end called the cage key. So you can go back to where Logan was, where you smashed down the wall, and there you go. Hmm, I am Logan. I'm a bit cooped up, as you can see. I have a bright idea. Suppose you set me free. I'm old and empty-handed, but I could repay you with knowledge and sorcery. This place is not in my mind. The inactivity is repressed. Oh, heavens! Thank you! I'm saved, and I'd love to resume my travels. But I must log a few things first, and I owe you a favor. I will return to Firelink Shrine. Speak with me there so that I may impart my sorcery. After rescuing Logan from Sand's Fortress, there you are. you'll go back to Firelink, where you'll teach you sorceries, but only if your intelligence is high enough. You need 15 intelligence to buy spells off Logan. S selling Home in Soul Mass and Soul Spear, some of the best he sells right now. Heading out, are you? I too will leave soon. Undead or no, I shan't stay here forever. You have great potential. Don't go and die over nothing. Right, next up, Logan will need saving again. This time in Duke's archives. You'll uh, come by him shortly after you've uh, got killed by Seif and you've been locked up in jail. You get out of jail, go straight down, you'll see him in a big cell, which is this point here. So you're gonna need rest need to rescue him again. After opening the bookcase in the Duke's archives, you should, you'll come to this room with loads of chests in it. The chest will be the second one on the left. Hello again. What a chance meeting this is. Alas, I'm imprisoned once again. Oh, thank you very much. I'm saved. That makes twice. I must be sure to repay you. I will visit the archives. If I discover any new spells, I shall share them with you. Prepare to be impressed by the onward march of sorcery. Hello. Don't mind me. Go on ahead. I'll head out soon. I wish to lay down my plans before I visit the archives. Hello. I'll Next up, you'll find him just behind the shortcut where the bookcase is. Hello there. I was expecting you. This place is truly magnificent, more than expected even. As promised, I shall share the new sorceries with you, and the secret of Seath's immortality. Yeah, so you go on about uh, Seath's mortality. You're going to have to buy all these spells for him to go insane and to carry on with the quest. But you're also going to have to kill Seath as well for him to go insane. Come again. Once you've bought all the spells, 
Make sure you buy them all, otherwise it won't work. If you were 14 and were in prison, you must know that Seath is a true undead, different from ourselves. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. His wounds close promptly, and no mortal blow affects him, granting true insulation from death. It is an effect of the primordial crystal, a sacred treasure pillaged by Seath when he turned upon the ancient dragons. So only by destroying the primordial crystal can you so much as scratch his hide. And it so happens, the primordial crystal is in the inner garden of these very archives, the Crystal Forest. So once you've bought all his spells and you've defeated Seath the Scaleless, head back there and he should be going insane now. Who are you? Stay clear. Stay clear of my work. Curses upon you. How dare you disturb me? So once you, uh, you find out clear? he's Curses gone insane, you. got a few hey, screw hey. looses, quit and reload your game. This is the quickest way to do it, I find. Just quit. Let the game load up the game again. You should find that he's gone. The next place he's gone is where you first saw Seath the Scaleless. So go up the lift. It'd be around on the second floor, I believe. Just speed this bit up to make it a little bit quicker for you guys. And yeah, you'll be naked and hollow. So once you defeat him, you'll get some of his stuff, but you won't get all of his stuff. You need to head back to the shortcut where the bookshelf is, where he was reading his books. There'll be a chest right there. And that chest will be the rest of his clothes and his catalyst. Hope this uh, walkthrough have helped you guys, for you guys who are interested in getting all Logan's things. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.